Black Hat is next week, and mobile security firm, uh, a mobile security firm called Zimperium, who I'd never heard of before, uh, will show a video and release proof of concept code illustrating how the Stage Fright Media Playback Engine, this is in Android Devices 2.2 and above, can be exploited to run malicious C++ code that potentially gives full system access to those that are using that or utilizing that exploit. That's 950 million uh, vulnerable devices. Uh, the demonstration, at least in this case, uses Hangouts kind of as the delivery mechanism or vector, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but it's a system level exploit. So it's not, this is not like an exploit of just Hangouts. This is system wide. The Hangouts MMS uh, can actually delete itself after being received. So I would get a message out of nowhere, an mm -hmm. MMS message. And what happens is Hangouts then takes that file and kind of prepares it for you. Yes. And in doing so, it processes it in some ways, maybe to give you a thumbnail or something. And in doing that, it's it's executing mm -hmm. whatever the exploit is, right? Yeah, exactly. Wow. Uh, and then it could delete itself afterwards, leaving no trace. That code, uh, Steve Gibson, of course, had security now uh, earlier today, spoke with Leo Laporte uh, about this and said the code, as is usually the case uh, when these things are kind of announced, will quickly be weaponized. But mm -hmm. who knows how, oh, yeah. like, what that means beyond that. Like, 950 million devices is it a lot means, of devices. Who's really going to see that? It means fright and stage. <laughs> does, it, does it mean FUD? Does it mean fear, uncertainty, and doubt? Like, <laughs> is, is this something to be actually be scared of? Well, or? I should mention that before uh, DEF CON and Black Hat happen every single year in Vegas, we always hear about really frightening exploits that are coming out. And they always, well, luckily, the people that are giving talks at these conventions always use responsible disclosure, or they should, which basically right. means that they go to the company and give them a chance to solve the problem before they actually release it publicly and give a talk. And usually they'll tell the company beforehand if they're going to give a talk as well. So they have a chance to fix it. And in the case of Stage Fright, Google has already implemented an exploit, but it's going to take a lot longer for all the carriers and all the different devices that run Android to actually implement the uh, download the upload or right. yeah the download for the new security update as well i mean you know that a lot of people are just going to be screwed right oh, yeah. i mean like the care anybody with a carrier phone right now mm -hmm. even a pretty new one is pretty much screwed yeah i'm probably screwed right now i have a verizon note 4 and i'm sure that's going to take forever to get an update it took forever to get lollipop on this phone so i know that it's going to take a while to get the update on here luckily the main problem with this is all they need is your phone number to be able to exploit this MMS problem with stage fright. So by simply knowing your phone number, Jason, I could send you this exploit via, I'm, I'm assuming that they're using steganography to put this code inside of a video file. Uh, mm -hmm. Steganography, it's, it's on Wikipedia. It's this whole weird way that you can put files or images or whatever you want inside a different file to kind of hide yeah, it. Yeah, that was one of my, my questions. It's really cool. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming they use it. I'm not sure though. But they put this code inside a video file. They send it to you via SMS. All they need to, or MMS, all they need to know is your phone number and you receive that MMS on your phone. You don't even have to pick up your phone and, you know, open it or unlock right. it or anything. It's already exploited you. So that's the scary it's part. It's already been processed. Yeah, now, all they need to know is a phone number. Okay, so one thing that you can do in a lot of these messaging apps, and you can do this in Hangouts, because mm -hmm. I checked and I did it, whether yeah. whether it makes a, a difference or not, I, it seemed like it would, is auto-retrieve MMS. Yes. Does that kind of fix it here? As far as we know, it does fix the issue for you, but in generally- In Hangouts, but it's a yeah, system-wide thing, so it can so happen- So there are a lot of too. other applications yeah. that also automatically download these MMS messages. It's not going to fix those unless they also have that option to turn it off too. Right, mm -hmm. and ultimately, it's if it's system-wide, that just means it needs to be right. patched. Yeah. And Google's doing that. Uh, and for the Nexus devices, they'll mm -hmm. probably see that update. And what's even worse for at least for Android users is that I know uh, you know a lot of interactions that we have with our friends who also have iPhones, and yeah. then they're doing group messaging, and people in the iMessage that send a group message, mm -hmm. it comes to us as MMS messages. Yes, it does. So if you're going to turn off auto retrieve MMS messages, and you are a part of a group that's got you know, that's with iPhone people, you're going to have a lot of MMSs to approve the retrieval. Yeah. Yes, it's going to protect you, but it's going to get really tiresome after a while. It is. It's, yeah. it's security over usage. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah. I just blame the iPhone people, yeah. as you call them. <laughs> iPhone people. 
as if they don't, yeah. they might not as, exist. As if it's just them. <laughs> Those people using yeah. iPhones, yeah, no, whatever. But, I mean, yeah, as, as a, but that, that is a, yeah. that's a big source of MMS. So yeah. if this is a delivery mechanism, or just one of many possible ways to get it on there. But I mean. That said, Google's already got the fix out there. Yes. ASOP, AS, they have no um, known, they have no known um, examples of this being exploited in the wild. Yeah, nobody's so, noticed it being exploited in the wild, even yeah. though 950 so, million devices could be this, exploited. Well, that, that's the usual scare tactics of yeah. like, not a billion devices are going to be affected by this, and really, no, no one's been affected. And if by you it use CyanogenMod, yeah. there's already a download available on Cyanogen's Mod's uh, website. It's uh, slash c slash one zero three two seven zero. And to, to your point that. about being on Verizon, I think this is going to be really interesting to see how seriously they take this mm -hmm. sort of thing and how quickly they get an update out yeah, or absolutely. whether they sit on it. I hope they do it rather quickly. I mean, so, I'm, I'm carrierless, so I'm as soon as Google, you know. Like, lucky. Uh, yeah, exactly. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. that's one of the... So, so here's a question for you, Shen. Uh, would you, like, on newer phones, would this be a Google Play Services patch or would it actually be an OS level patch? I'm thinking it'll be an OS patch because stage fright is so deep near root of your okay. uh, devices that it would it would require more than just Google Play. Yeah, yeah this is this is deeper yeah, than Google Play services, right? I mean that's Which what I read. Is yeah. Really yeah. scary. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's too bad. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, and you know, I these security stories come up often and you you read a lot of articles written about, oh, freaking out, Andrew's so you yeah, know, absolutely. unsafe, blah, blah, blah. And then there's always a few of those kind of counteracting articles that that are like, you know, the sky is not falling. It's yeah. okay. Uh, the, the numbers don't reflect that anything's happened. I personally, and maybe I'm wrong, I feel like this is just a little bit different from the sky's falling argument only because yeah. just because it has it hasn't been exploited yet mm -hmm. doesn't matter in this case because the long tail of this yeah. is like the facts are the exploit will be known next week yep. in code. Yep. And it's going to take 950 million devices, most of which aren't going to ever get updated. Right. Um, all of them will be affected and you know that people are going to you know weaponize it in some form yeah absolutely so i so the fact that it hasn't been exploited yet really doesn't it's mean a whole lot i think the actual get, danger is beyond next week it's right, going to get exploited as soon as black hat happens and the code is available yeah as long as they actually publicize the code then yeah it'll, right. it'll get exploited which is an unfortunate it. part about you know these conventions when they do these talks yeah. but um, hopefully, by making this information public, it'll make the carriers bring out an update faster. Right. So, so well, you know, faster? you yeah. know the people the who say the, not to or, freak out, the apologists. Mm. They're the iPhone people. <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> I wouldn't freak out. I would recommend just not giving out your phone number more than you need to and yeah. turning off auto retrieve of MMS if that's available. Or yeah. just use, right just use Hangouts yeah, so, because yeah. that one actually lets you do it. Yeah. Who do so, there okay, you go. Okay, this is kind of a side question, but so the 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 problem here is is twofold, right? On the Google on the Android side, it's that the the sorry, go away, <laughs> voice command. I didn't wake you up. Go back to sleep. Uh, you know, the one problem lies in Google's hands, which is just that Android in and of itself has been created so that mm -hmm. pushing out these updates is really not an, as easy as just saying update your devices, yeah. right? It, it has all these hurdles. And then on the other hand, we have the carriers that we always love to blame because they're so slow at updating. Mm -hmm. Who's more to blame in this regard? Like, um, more, like rather, yeah, I, gu I guess <laughs> they both are. But does this mean that at some point Google has to come up with a solution for something like this? Like a system like, level like, If ability, this is something yeah. that's going well, that's to actually an, affect a lot of devices. That's like, kind, it kind of an of falls, ongoing debate with any exploit that comes out yeah. because you're always going to have some issue with any kind of code. I mean, we've had issues with our own hardware and software devices that hack five cells. Mm -hmm. It's an ongoing issue and you're always going to have these things come out and you're always going to have somebody fixing them. Sure. Yeah, it's a part of the landscape. It's something we have to live with. And Google needs to be in charge of this, but there's only so much that somebody can do. You right. know, whoever okay. they hire, nobody's going to be a perfect coder. Sure. At least that's how I feel. All right. <laughs> All right. Cool. So, yeah, so turn off auto-retrieve MMS and be yes. careful. Yeah, just, just be careful. Whew.